Good evening, it's Russ Douglas 222 again. So here I am with the PARD 008 LRS, PARD SA45 LRS, uh, spot the laser rangefinder, and I'm on one of my permissions, and funnily enough, this view is well chosen. It's the same spot I uh, filmed the last video with the same SCL35 thermal earlier on at the start of the year. So I thought I'll film comparison here we're going to have some horses hopefully some rabbits as soon as it gets dark and uh, I've got a view about two three hundred meters for the rabbits so I've got my Yukon MPR DBR with Brucey bonus cable which Bruce has fixed thank you Bruce I don't actually need unlike the last video I don't actually need the laser rangefinder of the PAR 008 this time to range the targets because the SA45 has got a rangefinder, but just thought some comparative footage. I'll fire these two fellas up and see if we can get some footage before the last of the light goes, and then a little, in a little while, once it gets darker, some nocturnal footage. Okay? Okay, so I'm recording simultaneously on the PAR 008 LRS and I'm recording on, over here on the SA45 LRS thermal scope. I'll synchronise both views and I'll swap between the two. You can see there's already some rabbits out. This is it's only 10 to 5 at night after sunset. So I've just taken a few photos of the two scopes on the tripod side by side. But in the thermal I can see 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 possibly eight rabbits, one on the corner I think, amongst the undergrowth. The PAR 008 LRS has got a much narrower field of view, interestingly. Zoom in the SA45. Ah, I've got the PIP enabled. So let's go into the menu. Okay, so now when I press the zoom, the whole thing, the screen will zoom. And I'll have to angle it. See these rabbits. So that's a uh, times two and the native zoom of the SA45 is 3.2 times so that's times two digital so that's 6.4 times so if I pass with the thermal see one two three four five 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Maybe that one where the reticle is right now, maybe that's not a, a rabbit. So 12 rabbits out there already. And let's range these rabbits with night vision. Oh, wrong button. They're at 100 and 65, get that corner fence post, 175 meters, arrange them with the thermal, ah. that's right, you have to be zoomed right out to use the thermal, 174, 175 meters to that fence post, both the night vision scope and the thermal scope are reading the same range, which is excellent. I must remember that I can only use the thermal scope's rangefinder while it's zoomed out. And the PIP is not on. Lots of rabbits over there. I think I need to speak to the owner again over there and the new owner of that house and get permission for that garden because at the moment there's no way I can get across that paddock. To, I've tried before, there's no way I can get across that paddock without being spotted by the rabbits. Photo on my YouTube homepage and on business cards, right where the uh, laser rangefinder is ranging, this is me sitting in that garden. I had permission under the previous one. I just haven't bothered yet, so I think I need to do that soon. 
are certainly very active, those bunnies. No horses visible at the moment. I'm going to stay here for a while until there's some more heat sources. Actually, speaking of heat sources, there's a lady just collecting horse poop. So, and you can see the difference in colour from her legs to her welly boots, and obviously her jacket, hands. So, that's a pretty good demonstration of the thermal shading because we've got the that's one important thing to mention actually Bruce turned down the contrast and the brightness of the pad it, the default setting in the instruction manual that comes with the scope would have shown her as virtually all white head to toe with no shading for temperature variations so yeah you can definitely see the boots are co cooler than the trousers and uh, yep, this Pard SA45 LRF thermal scope is working very well indeed. Let's just check we're still recording. Yep, the link is still on the Yukon NPR. Yukon NPR, by the way, I bought from Scott Country International a couple of years ago now. Fortunately, the signal will be degraded. So the signal that's coming out of the, the thermal scope will be degraded down the cable and in the output. So it's going to be significantly worse what you're seeing than what I'm seeing because what I'm seeing is crystal clear bunny central and to show you the range but right over here so that gable end 360 meters obviously I'm getting better returns from the buildings because they're all pearl dashed or howled as they call them in Aberdeen 